Motorsports.com. Oh, I think it's it's a tremendous um, spectator sport, no matter where you're from, um, especially down here in the south, where they like to watch lots of goals being scored, um, hopefully in our favor. <laughs> but you know, I, I think it's a it's a highly athletic game. There's it's a high scoring game. So for us, we think it's going to be a natural fit for the for the city of Gainesville as well as the state of Florida. You know, a lot of basketball involved in lacrosse, really? and picks and screens, and a lot of our plays are are based on basketball moves. Um, our field resembles very similar to an ice hockey rink um, where we have a crease for our goalie and we have restraining lines. Um, we have the field players very similar to soccer. So there's a, it's, it's comparable with a lot of different sports. Well, it was, it was a challenge at times um, just because they are truly going away to college. Uh, you know, they're not going to a school in their backyards. Um, well, for me, I think you know, any school has a good lacrosse program and good academics, but here at Florida, it's not just being a part of a good athletic lacrosse team, it's being a part of the Gator athletic community as a whole and sharing success within the community and not just within your own team. You bring them down here in mid-February or, you know, in the winter and they come down here at 65, 70 degrees, wasn't too hard to convince them to come here. Yes, playing in um, shorts and pennies in the winter time when everyone else at home, like all of our friends, they're playing in sweats and spandex, spandex <laughs> and we're, they're just jealous about us coming yeah. here to play in warmth. I mean, the facilities are second to none. I mean, this is the number one lacrosse facility in the country by far. Um, you know, it's it's it has everything you could ever imagine. I mean, we have a state-of-the-art um, locker room, tran um, training room, equipment room, um, conference room. Technologically, we're, we're so advanced, um, sometimes beyond my belief. Um, and then just the field itself, um, the care that, that the people who work here ta you know, take to make sure that it's, it's in tip-top condition, it's second to none. So it goes from everyone who built the stadium, who takes care of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a job but they, they do a fantastic job. They, yeah. Especially it being our first year for them to build such an amazing place for this, like for us like this, it's just, you don't have that happen when it's just your first year. That comes after the championships and yeah. after the success. And with Florida, right off the bat, they get it going and it's really cool. And we all committed here without even the facility or seeing anything. I mean, Jeremy Foley, the athletic director, promised us when we all committed here that you're gonna get the finest of the finest and the best of the best facilities. Well, I think we got really lucky. Um, we were named the number one recruiting class in the country, um, you know, which is pretty <laughs> exciting. Um, but, you know, there's a little bit of pressure there when you bring in that type of talent. So, uh, you know, and, and it's all about how they perform on the field when they get here. Um, and that's what we're looking at right now. We don't really have any, you know, amazing expectations. We're just trying to build each other up and to, you know, whatever happens, happens. But we're just looking to come out and play as hard as we possibly can. And, you know, if we succeed and we win some games, then that's great. And if we lose some, we'll learn along the way. And we just, we want to grow as a team and as individuals. And that's what we're all about, I guess.